Hi, welcome to another video of letter series and in this video we are going to learn how to get the value out of these text fields that are currently showing in our simple login screen. So for example, whenever user types in the email and password, we should be able to get out these uh, values and use them for our purpose. So for example, whenever I type in my email, okay, and my password, I should be able to get back the values out of these text fields so that I can use them for login purpose. I'm not going to write the logic for login right now, but uh, what I will do is that I will print these uh, values inside an alert dialog or we can print them in the console as well. So let's get started. So on my screen, you can see that I have currently opened the project inside the Visual Studio Code and you can see that our widget is very simple that contains only two text field two buttons and an image and a text field at a text view so what we need to do is that we need to find out where is this text field right now so simply what we can do is that we can search for it so i will press the control plus f from my keyboard and i can search something like email uh, because i know that i have used the email uh, hint text so that it is easy to find okay so here it is so what we need to do is that we need to use something called a text editing controller so uh, here we have a here we have an option something called controller and here we can provide the text editing controller for this text field and similarly we need to provide the text editing control controller for our password field so uh let's do it first of all we need to use a stateful widget if we want to do this because uh every time user types in something we need to maintain the state by the way uh, all of this will be handled automatically by flutter but just i am telling you uh, is that we need to use stateful widget uh, in our case so which is already being done so what i will do is that we i will use or i will create a text editing controller variable uh, inside my state class so let me zoom in and here i can hit enter and write something called maybe uh, text editing controller so text editing controller is the built-in class in flutter that we will use to get out the value out of uh, the edit text so i will click here to automatically insert it and right now i can type in the name of my uh, object so this is the class and we are currently creating the object or variable of that class so what i can do is that i can write email uh, you can see that my editor is also suggesting the name so i will type in email text editor okay or editing controller or whatever you want you can uh, you can type in so i can type uh, email tec so here i have created a variable of type text editing controller another variable here of the same type text editing controller but this time for my password you know controller so i can type in password text editing controller i am writing it this way or you can you know write the variable name in any way but make sure that it follows the variable naming convention so i have right now created two text editing controllers now we need to use them inside our text field so what i will do is that i will go to the uh, text fields again so where is my text field first one is this one uh, this text editing controller this is for uh, email and i will type in right here email tec so i have associated the variable that i have created with this controller and secondly i will uh, associate my password text editing controller with the second text field so i can hit enter and type in controller and here i can enter password tec so both our controllers are linked with both our text fields so now if i want to get the value out of these text fields i just need to use these text editing controllers and uh, 
use the dot text value that is already available inside them so what i will do is that uh, whenever user press the login button or sign up button i will print the value inside the console so uh, what we can do is that we can go to our button so here is our button elevated button for login and again outline button for our sign up so inside on pressed uh, what we can do is that we can get the values out of them so uh, you can create a string variable or you can just type in a variable and say email is equals to email text editing controller dot text so text so right now whichever whatever user has written the value will be saved inside this variable whenever user will press the on uh, login button and secondly we need to get the value of the password so i will create a password variable here and i can enter password tec uh, i can use the password text editing controller dot text value to get the password out of this uh, password text editing controller okay and if i want to print the value i can use the print function and i can pass in these values so for email i can say email is underscore email i am doing concatenation here string concatenation i hope so you are familiar with the string concatenation and that's it right now whenever user will press the uh, login button we will be able to see that whatever the user has entered we will be able to see that inside our console and again for the password we can type uh, password plus underscore password uh, and that's it okay so to test it we can run this application on our phone again and let's see if everything works fine so in the next video by the way we are going to learn how to navigate to other screens of so whenever user press the login screen we want the user to navigate to another screen and similarly whenever user will uh, enter or press the sign up button uh, we want the user to navigate to a separate screen so let's uh, our application is running on our phone let's try it out so i will type in my email so learn with shaji at gmail.com and for my password my super secret password one two three four five six this is my password and let's press the login button so here you can see that i am currently inside the debug console and whenever i uh, go down you can see that the email and password is printed inside the console so uh, usually what we do with this is that we send these values to a server and where all the authentication happens and if the authentication is successful we take the user to the next screen so uh, as you know we are right now not linking our application to any server uh, right now we are learning the basic but in the later videos we will be learning how to do all these uh, stuff so that's it from my side and i think if you like this video then you can press the like button this will help me to reach to more people on youtube and also you can all uh, recommend this channel to others so that they can also join me to learn flutter thank you so much